Hi, John from Dire Dynamics. Today we'll be going over and installing our Stage Series Fog Pocket Kit for the 2020 to 2022 Ford Super Duty. This kit was designed to be much more than just four pods mounted to the bumper, offering three distinct lighting functions. Road legal fog lights, bright off-road lighting, and ambient amber backlight illumination. This kit includes two of our SS3 pods and our fog optic, providing focused light directly in front of the vehicle for road legal fog output that is much brighter than stock, as well as two SS3s in our combo optic. These combine our driving and flood optics to shine light in a focus beam down range and directly in front of the vehicle, giving you maximum output while off-roading. Our fog pocket kit offers tons of customization, allowing you to choose from sport, pro, or a max power level in 6000K cool white or 3000K selective yellow output for the fogs, along with an amber backlight when the main beam isn't in use. The fog lights are designed to work in the same way as the factory fog lights, turning on automatically anytime the headlights are turned on and the fog light switch is in the on position. The off-road pods are controlled manually using the harness's toggle switch, or you can swap it out with the included adapter to use it with your factory auxiliary switches. This kit is compatible with halogen and OEM LED fog lights. Our heavy-duty stainless steel brackets were CAD designed right here in St. Louis, Missouri for an easy bolt-on fitment for the 2020 to 2022 Ford Super Duty with no modification required. The bracket has rubber padding pre-installed to protect the body of your truck and uses self-clinching threaded studs so you don't see the exposed hardware. Or we do just offer the bracket so you can build the kit to your exact needs. I'll show you how to get them installed now. Our first step will be to grab a 15 millimeter socket and move underneath the vehicle to remove four bolts from the back of the bumper. Next, we'll remove the fog light bezel by pressing these four plastic tabs along the bottom and popping it out of place. Then, with a plastic trim tool, remove the two factory harness fasteners from the back of the fog light bracket. There'll be four more 8mm bolts to remove holding on our factory fog light bracket to the bumper. Depending on your tools, it may be easiest to use an extension or deep socket. You can then disconnect the lamp and remove it. With our factory fog light removed, we can read the same steps on the other side. Now we're ready to assemble our SS3s to our brackets, starting with our universal bracket and pods. Go ahead and drop the supplied nuts into the back of the SS3 with the nylon locking ring towards the inside. Then slide your universal bracket over the pod and secure it with the supplied 5 seconds Allen bolts and washers hand tight to leave room for adjustment later. Go ahead and repeat the same steps for the remaining pods. We can then bolt our SS3s to our fog light bracket hand tight. You can place the fog light in the inside or the outside. The preference is completely up to you. Go ahead and slide our carriage bolt down through our bracket, followed by the washer, lock washer, and nut. Using a half inch wrench, we'll be making our baseline aiming adjustments. On the back of our bracket, you'll want to align your universal bracket parallel to the fog light bracket tab and then centered with the tab. Next, we can bolt on our SS3 fog pocket assembly to the bumper using our included nylon locking nut and washer with an eight millimeter socket.
Then take the fog light and off-road adapter and plug the flag DT connector to the fog light pod and the other one into your off-road pod. After that, we'll plug in the factory fog light to DT adapter into our fog light and off-road adapter and connect the other end to the factory fog light connector. We'll then need to route and tap our backlight wire. We recommend tapping your parking signal. To do this, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket and a plastic trim removal tool so we can gain access behind the fender liner. Pulling back some of the fender liner on the driver's side, we can reach up and unplug the headlight to identify the green wire with an orange stripe. You'll wrap your T-tap around the wire and clamp it down using a pair of needle nose pliers and plug in the spade connector. For the passenger side, we'll need to locate and tap the wire that is beige with a yellow stripe. Next, we'll be running the wiring for our off-road pod. We'll need a 10 millimeter socket to take off the nut on our positive negative terminal of our battery. We'll connect our black wire to our negative terminal and then our red wire to our positive terminal and then tighten everything back down. For our switch, we can route it across the engine bay, through the firewall, and then into the cab location of your choice, and come back through and secure it away from any hotter moving parts with zip ties. If you have an auxiliary switch bank instead, you can disconnect our factory switch, and then plug in line our auxiliary leads. If you're connecting to the factory auxiliary wires, we'll need to press on the two tabs on the side of our fuse box and slide it off. From here, you'll notice a bundle of auxiliary leads just under it. You can then strip your factory lead and crimp the yellow wire to the corresponding switch wire of your choice. We'll then feed our DT connectors to our fog pocket kit down between the airbox and the back of the headlight. Go ahead and then plug the two DT connectors into the remaining end of your fog light and off-road adapters. Now we can make our final aiming adjustments. You can tilt your pod up and down, and once you have that where you like, you can go to the back side and tighten everything down with a 5-30-second Allen. With our fog pocket kit installed, we can now secure any loose wiring away from any hot or moving parts, and then reinstall any additional parts back on the vehicle by reversing the steps we used to take them off. If you'd like to pick up a fog pocket kit for your vehicle or any of our other products, be sure to visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. And if you want to stay up to date on any newer future products, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.